India also sadly pulled out of the women's competition. But all credit to the hosts here, the Philippine Badminton Association and Badminton Asia, for ensuring that this event still goes ahead. So let's welcome the first of the doubles players in this quarterfinal stage. And it is the three-time World Championship silver medalist, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Three consecutive World Championship silver medals, I hasten to add. So to the two-time World Championship bronze medalists, Gracie Poli and Apriani Arahayu. Now they love playing here in Manila because it was here a year ago that they won the Southeast Asian Games gold medal, uh, beating Chala Chalam and Myung Wang from Thailand in that final for the gold medal. So they will be absolutely delighted to be here and back on happy hunting ground. No handshakes due to the coronavirus, just a polite bow. And that's very appropriate. Now, as you can see, this is the 10th meeting between these uh, two pairs. And as with our first match, where Yamaguchi had won the last five encounters, I can tell you in this women's doubles, Fukushima and Hirota have won the last seven encounters between the two pairs. Last time that the Indonesians beat Fukushima and Hirota was at the French Super Series back in 2017. But the last time these two pairs met each other was in the group stage of the World Tour Finals in Guangzhou last December. It was three thrilling games, 21-9 in the deciding game in an hour and 28 minutes. Well, if we have a match that's half as good as that in that last encounter, we are in for a treat. Sayaka Hirota is 25 years of age, born in Kumoto on the island of Kushu. Uh, currently number three in the world ranking, as uh, you can see, but they did spend a total of 42 weeks across four different spells as world number ones. Yuki Fukushima is the older of the two at the age of 26 from Yatsushiro City, also in Kumamoto Prefecture. Now, not only their World Championship medals, they've also won bronze at the Asian Games and two years ago won the Badminton Asia Championships. Not had the best of starts to the year, but they did win their first match here against the Malaysians in yesterday's group encounter. Apriani Urihayu is 21 years of age. She and her partner are currently number eight in the world ranking, but did spend a total of two weeks across two separate spells, so one week each at number three. World Championship bronze medalists in 2018 and 19, but Gracia Polly, the 32-year-old, has actually been a three-time World Championship bronze medalist because she also won bronze on home soil in Jakarta in 2015 with Amahaswari. Asian Games a bronze medalist of this pair and of course as I was telling you Southeast Asian Games gold medalist in this very city here at the end of last year Ready? played against the Philippines as a pair the Ladies Indonesians and but not as a pair right, yesterday Japan against Thailand and on my left, in Malaysia, represented by Apali Rahayu and Raishi Pali. Japan to serve, Yuki Fukushima to Gaiashi Pali. Love all, play. So Japan, far side of the courts in Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota are getting this first women's doubles underway against Gracia Poli and Apriyani Rahayu. 
one. Well, we love. always expect a lot, don't we, when we have world championship silver medalists against world championship bronze medalists. <laughs> Missed it. Too flat, gone long of the back line. Seven silver. And I certainly don't one. expect this oh. encounter to be any different. And I think it will be a very hard fought affair. Never mind a bit of. Oh, my goodness, where did Polly come from? I was just about to say they don't One. mind a bit of defending throughout the rally. And suddenly, from nowhere, Gracia Polly, look, she's moving forward already. That's outrageous. What great anticipation from the 32 year old. That's well worked. Some saw so that Rahayu was oh. waited, committed to a backhand defence. Look, then hit it down a forehand side. Oh, she never really got the shuttle away. Some so Three, two. Oh dear, that's a shocking serve. Oh, that's well worked. Lovely, lovely play from Rahayu. Four, two. Well, Rahayu. Rahayu has started to play some mixed doubles, and I think that's helping her front court play. But this lady has been struggling with her serve for months. Now reverted to the forehand serve. And that's better, just flicking the shuttle, just getting the shuttle into play, because her previous serve, her attempted low serve, was anything but low. Oh. Seven silver, three, four. Good start Five, to the year, did Polly three. and Rahayu, winning the Indonesia Masters 500 event. And to save two match points in the final against Kovo and Tuasen from Denmark before eventually winning 23-21. Oh, yes. Oh, I like Six, this new aggressive three. style at the front of the court from Rahayu. What a difference a little bit of mixed doubles training can do. Polly. Well, Gracia Polly 
just been warned by the umpire. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Play. Turn of serve from so Herota. Four, eight. Oh, she's missed it. Five, eight. Well, initially, very athletic play from Rahay, the big jump smash. Six, eight. Look at that, my goodness! Oh, I missed the drop shot though. It's so exciting to watch the way the women's doubles game is emulating the men's doubles game with lots of attacking play, lots of jump smashes. Seven so far, nine, six. Still with the forehand serve, still going for a flick. Ladies Another one goes long. Women's okay. final with six. Thailand. Thailand leads two matches to love. Seven, eight. Just wide. So it's a four point advantage seven, in the mid game in for the Indonesian pair. Uh, Polly and Rahayu. Ladies and gentlemen, the court works for you. And Hyang, the Indonesian coach, will be very happy with these players at the moment. Nine minutes for their four point advantage. Kiang, the bronze medalist from the 2004 Olympic 20 Games, seconds. which he won with Flandin and Pelé. 20 seconds. Court. Court, return to chair. Court. 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 Return to chair. Kai Nakajima being told to leave court. The players back on court after the mid-game interval and their instructions from their coaches. 11, 7, play. And a four-point advantage at this level. It's quite 
significant, in my opinion. Two highly ranked women's doubles pairs. Clever, clever play from Sayaka Herota. Even Park Dubong, who really shows much emotion, applauding that one. It was a fabulous rally, but in the end, the little deaf touch from Herota, changing the pace, the awareness, the vision to see where the gap was. That's magnificent play, and the longest rally of the match so far at 39 shots. Oh, my goodness me. This is getting better and better. Winning drop shot, my goodness. What happened to Gracia Polly? She seemed to be moving towards it, then suddenly stopped. There she's going. Oh, I think she initially thought it may have been going out. So just two points in it now. Flat, that's gone long. Eleven, so now just one point the deficit. Five points adrift a moment ago. It's seven and twelve. Oh yes. Seven so what? Mm, that goes down as an unforced error from Fukushima. Concern on the Japanese coaching bench. Play. Oh, my goodness, do you take that? Seven to one. It's a fabulous. Smash. But it's so predictable with the flick serve, the forehand flick serve from Gracia Poli. Opponents know it's coming, they can start, they literally can't move before the serve is struck, but. Uh, that's where they believe the shuttle's going to go, and they, they're ready and waiting Seven, for it. 14. That's terrific thinking. 
Good technique, good skill. Look how she took that as high as she possibly could. You get ready. Costly from Hirota. By Nakajima. She makes his feelings unknown. Went in the bottom of the net. Oh. So the Sarah. of the foot as she played the shot because 16, she knew 16. it was going to be an error. Oh, what a rally. Look at that little stamp before the shuttles actually hit the net. She knew it was no good. Real quality badminton up until that point. Just one point in it. from seven, 12 down, five points adrift to get back level at 16 all. Jolly effectiveness hit. Seventeen. Sixteen. No, oh, it didn't look so bad there. It just, in real time, looked as if it was came off the frame or something. But it, they all count. It's 
so the first time since the very first point of the match the Japanese pair have been in the lead. Good top shot. Service over. 17. All. Leon. Robinson. Fabulous rally. And women's doubles of the very, very highest quality. How did she find that angle? How was that possible? She played that with a round the head action. She was going to get out of the way, then thought, well, I'm not going to be able to by playing a shot. What a thriller. 18 all. The quality of these rallies. Both pairs 18. desperately looking for the attacking play at final take off the tape from Hirota. Quite brilliant. Look at that. Look at the angle. Well, that's at least the third rally we've had in the 30s. 30 shot lengths. Ladies and gentlemen, men's women's feet tight standing on court number two. These Chinese are playing at Malaysia. Malaysia leads. 1,000. Oh, he's landed in. It's a challenge here from Andresia Poliyi. Challenges fall in. Oh, you might as well challenge. First challenge of the match so far. Two challenges permitted per game. If you're writing your challenge, you keep your challenge. So it's very similar to tennis. Yeah, that was clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. So it's game point One opportunities for Fukushima and Hirota. Two game point Ladies opportunities to be precise. Thank you. 
they started the rally. Japanese pair with a flick serve. And from that moment, it was all Indonesian attack. Hitting every single shuttle in a downward direction. So one game point well saved by Indonesia. But they convert on their second. The Japanese pair of Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Opening game, 21-19. Well, 26 minutes of thrilling badminton there. All four players playing their part in making that a very exciting game to watch. Indonesians certainly had their chances when they had that five-point advantage. 12-7 up. And it's not how you start, it's how you finish that counts. So Japanese teammates uh, looking at a fine fettle at the moment, don't they? Why not? Even the player who played the first match, Shikane Yamaguchi, on the bench behind the court there, cheering on teammates. But I can tell you, this women's doubles is far from over. Court world one, Championship silver 20 medalist seconds. against the World Championship bronze medalist. Court one, seconds. There's all the trappings of making a, a great match, and that opening game, well, in my opinion, almost Court, see, exceeded care. expectations. Terrific badminton. Played at great pace, great intensity, great skills on show. Well, it was wonderful. But, of course, the Indonesians will feel that they've had missed chances having that five-point advantage at 12-7 up in that first game, but not managing to close out game number one. 21-19 in the end for Fukushima and Hirota Second for game. Japan. Love all. Play. So here we go, second game. One love. Oh, my goodness, what a natural. Well worked. Well, there was a cross-court net shot from this lady, Gracia Bolli. In the early stages of that rally, it was just superb. Oh, it's gone long. Free love. Wow, that is tremendous smash from Polly E. Service over, one, three. Look at that, inch perfect. Service fall call. So too this high. Called. Service over. Four. One. Too high. Too high. 
too high. The shuttle must be struck below 1.15 meter mark. Service over. Two, four. So the perspect devices there with a little black line on them. That's what the service judger uses to help determine Five. that 1.15 meter mark. Got to line up those two black lines on the two bits of perspex there. Time to jump. Oh. And it still managed to force her opponents into Six. error. Two. Well, I was saying earlier that in yesterday's encounter against Thailand, Indonesia chose not to select Poli. Instead, Rahayu played with Istorani. And they lost that match to Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai in. Three games, match lasting an hour and 24 minutes. Service of up, three, six. Wanted to save Bully, the age of 32, save her for the quarter final tie. Not that they would have known then who they were playing against in the quarter final tie. That only got determined after the finish of play, after all the group matches last night. Brilliant. The counter-attack there from Herota, quite Seven. superb. Crouch Seven. defense, drove Three. the shuttle back across court, and from that moment it changed the rally. That was the one. Easy put away for Fukushima after that drive defense from Hirota. There it is again. Such a good shot. Are you okay? Looking a little more relaxed than they did earlier, didn't they, the Japanese coaches? Really, really struggling with their defensive push. Three. Pushes at the moment, the Indonesians. They've got to get that under control. Loose the low serve and got what it deserved from Polly. Well, she served low last time and she did again there. Yeah, it's the better Six, low serving. It's enabled the Indonesians to win two quick points. 
great smash. Good rally. All four players Seven playing well. Up. Seven, nine. On this rally of this second game, I suspect they had one at 39 in the opening game. Yes, it was double hit. Well spotted umpire. Touched her racket. Nine. Trying to intercept, but quite frankly, the defensive shot was so good. Yeah. Great spot on par. Now, who's going for that? Oh. Straight in between the two Japanese players. They've been playing together for long enough and both leave it for the other. Six Playing together for seven years. Well, this is a magnificent comeback. Six. The last seven points to the Indonesians. Ten, nine. in it at the mid-game interval, but who's going to have the advantage? The answer is Indonesia. In Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu. 11 10, second game. Oh. 
Well, well, well. Who would have predicted that? Certainly not me. Three, eight, down. Cut bomb, 20 seconds. Cut bomb, 20 seconds. Spot. Spot. Oh, Indonesians definitely have the momentum at the moment. Well, what's happened to the Japanese pair? So three, eight down and eight of the last 10 points to have the advantage, 11-10, at the mid-game interval. The Indonesians, Polly and Mahayu. Against the former world number ones and current world number threes. It's extraordinary. These rallies. This is such good badminton. And I think both pairs realise that because of the drift in the uh, stadium here, the Rizal Memorial Coliseum, I think that neither pair is really wanting to lift. And it's making for some very exciting badminton. Ooh, oh, that's a service error from Fukushima. Service of work, 12, 11. Hey. Oh, my goodness. How did she get her racket to that? Service of work, oh, the floor will 12, need to be mopped of the perspiration. Oh. We have dedicated court attendants here in Manila. I wish more tournaments would do that. It's excellent. Court attendant gets on very quickly. And they can tell when the court is going to have to be mopped. Well, that was only long by the Stop. judgment again well in the Thank early you. stages of this second Stop. game I said the Indonesians were uh, with their lifts and clears and pushes were pushing along of the back line I said they've got to get that under control they seem to get it under control and now they've reverted 
uh, to being too content to lift the shuttle and once again they're hitting long yeah well taken service over 30 14 you can return the shuttle Time. Low serve or flick. Oh. Oh, service over. Service over. 15, 13. Yeah, not the time for a service error. This is crunch time in this match. Indonesians have got to win this second game to keep this women's doubles alive. to receive. It is indeed Hirota. the match brilliant fabulous fabulous badminton yes. well it's got to be the longest rally of the match as well surely that was extraordinary look at that defense there and then again and again that's just ridiculous how on earth can she get that back I think the Indonesians were thinking, how on earth do we win this rally? And in the end, just run out of ideas. This push, way wide. But what a fabulous rally. And quite clearly the longest rally of the match, 65 shots. And at 65, quite brilliant shots. Well, I said a little earlier, this was getting better and better. It's getting even better than the better. This is extraordinary. Play. Oh, dear. So often after a tremendous okay. rally like that was... <laughs> Drastic anti climax with a soft error, service error in that case. Service so over 17 15. Got to do something about that serve, Gracia Polly. It's too predictable. Yeah. 
good speed of movement from the Japanese players. Three point advantage and three points away from the match and from giving Japan a 2 love lead in this quarter-final tie. Think about it. Their own side. 15. And now, desperate situation for Indonesia. But because Japan just two points away from this match and two points away from a two love lead in the tie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a little bit of good fortune for Fukushima. But fortune favours the brave. Because she took it early. Got the net cords. And now five match point opportunities for Fukushima and yeah. Hirota, and for, of course, Japan. Yeah. One will do. 21-19, 21-15, the margin of their victory. 52 minutes, just a little over. And the world's championship Japan. silver medalists beat the world 19. championship bronze medalists in two straight games. 21-15, 21, 21, 19, 21, 15. And that means it's a two-love lead for Japan.